Hi, this is Piper with POS Sky Support. This is part two of the TSC scan and print. We're going to be going over the configuration and setup of it. So before you start this follow along, you want to make sure that you have the uh, printer driver installed, the bartender ultralight special edition, and the diag tool all installed. Um, right now we're going to be going over at the essential setup of adding text and barcode to the label. So here I have a label that corresponds with the label that's going to be printed out. Um, I'm going to go up to the top here and select the barcode, and I'm just going to go with this plain standard barcode here, and I'm just going to click once, and then I'm going to shrink it down a little bit so that it's to regular human sizing. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on the single line text and then click once again up above and just add what I want on there. And then I'm gonna adjust it a little bit so that it lines up well. So in order to enable the prompts, I'm gonna double click on this barcode here and over where it says type, instead of embed data, I'm going to select a new type and I'm going to select the printer code template field. And then if I'm happy with the way all of this looks, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to save it. And then I'm going to go to export printer code template. The options, there's two flash options. You want to be sure to select the KP100 flash option. Then you're going to go to more options. Here we're underneath the template object data sources. You're going to click on the barcode here. And then you want to enable prompting on external keyboard. And then you can select, you can put in whatever you want the prompt to be. So for us, we're going to have it be the enter data. Select OK and then export. So when this error pops up, all you have to do is select Auto Fix and it'll take care of itself. Alright, so next we're going to be going into the diagnostic tool or the diag tool. And the first thing we want to do is in this printer configuration section, under printer function, you want to select ignore auto.bas and then it's going to make a noise that's totally normal and then you're going to go into file manager right next to the printer configuration you want to have the file type be data file you're going to go on to browse and you're going to select the um, file that you want and open then you want to make sure the for the under file information the memory device is flash for the file format, the memory device is also flash. Then you're going to select download. And once you've done that, you're going to go back to the bartender and you're going to export again. So export printer code template and then export. All right, so now that everything on the computer is done, we're going to work on the actual printer. So to print the file, you're going to go to menu you're going to move all the way down to file manager. You want to select the flash option and then you're going to select file list and then see down here is the file that I want, small 3. I'm going to select that then I'm going to run file and then I'm going to select run for this scenario but if you set it as auto run every time that you power on the printer it's going to be set to this file. So go ahead and select. And there we go. I hope this tutorial has helped you out. Uh, it is specifically for this TSE printer because it has the screen to run the file as well as the USB port that reads to the scanner or keyboard. Um, you can use almost any scanner um, 
as long as it has a carriage that will return the scanning to the printer. Um, or you can also avoid the configuration altogether and you can message us and, uh, or contact us and we can pre-configure everything for you so you can have the label as you want it to be the second you get the printer.